Okay, so today we are discussing a very interesting case. Today, this lady presented to us with bilateral lower limb swelling. So a differential of bilateral lower limb cellulitis versus uh, DVT was made. But outside investigation showed that this lady is having thrombus in the IVC. So it's not so common. But if we would have gone straight away with thrombolizing this patient, the challenge was if, if this clot breaks and the fragments can go in the right ventricle and through the pulmonary artery and this patient can collapse anytime. So a team led by Dr. Roshan Rao, who is a senior cardiologist of the town, they did what what they did was they put an IVC filter and then thrombolized uh, the clot. So in the next frame, Dr. Roshan Rao will be explaining himself uh, what his, he and his team did and the patient was saved miraculously. Thank you. Hi friends, uh, this is a very interesting case. Uh, this was a lady which was 35 year old female presented with severe uh, bilateral swelling of short duration with uh, pain. She was investigated outside and she was found to have a uh, basically uh, IVC uh, thrombus which was 100% occluded above the renal uh, vessel but below the hepatic veins. So uh, the plan was to you know do a thrombolysis but uh, issue with thrombolysis in these kind of patient catheter directed especially is that the, the clot when it breaks up it forms up, uh, goes up and um, may give rise to a massive pulmonary embolism. Now the issue uh, especially in this case was that uh, where to put an IVC filter and how to put it. So uh, we did an ultrasound here and we found out that the hepatic vein and the junction of the clot was around 5.5 cm. Our IC, IVC filter is around uh, 5 cm so there was a potential space because we never want that spike of the IVC filter to go inside uh, any kind of vein because the retrieval uh, is very difficult then. So we took an uh, IVC filter which could be retrievable one. Secondly which can be implanted from the uh, upper that is uh, jugular veins. So uh, we did that and this is uh, the basic video. This is the hepatic vein and uh, you cannot see a renal vein here. This is the rib. Uh, renal veins are just below the rib. This is probably the 10th rib. Now uh, we took a shoot from here. We were It was very difficult to pass that sheet and this is uh, the sh shot from the sheet which is just around the hepatic vein just below the 12th rib and if you see this haziness these are all clot and this is constricted that means there is a clot burden here as well so uh, we implanted the ivc filter just beneath the hepatic vein so this was it and we passed the wire across this and when we passed the wire we just put a pigtail so this is a wire which we we have passed across this, uh, across that and then we have, this is the big tail. If you can see the haziness and there's hardly any flow up. So this is, the, it should be this big here. So this is constricted. That means that the, the entire wall is loaded with thrombus. This is a very, I mean, a radiolucent area, which is also a thrombus. So with, with such large thrombus burden, um, I mean, uh, potential of uh, pulmonary embolism is very, very strong. Also, in her preliminary CD scan, there was a peripheral pulmonary artery embolism. So she was basically a young female, probably taking some uh, oral uh, contraceptive pills, which is not, uh, that history is not elucidated well. She presented with severe bilateral uh, lower limb pain. The DD of such kind of pain is cellulitis and uh, pulmonary embol uh, DVT. Usually DVT is unilateral. But being bilateral, it, there was a very high suspicion of an IVC occlusion and uh, when we found out uh, the IVC was occluded. So uh, all in all, uh, this was a very high risk case. There was imminent uh, danger of renal artery to be uh, renal veins thrombosis and which would have uh, led to the catastrophe going, I mean, uh, with a thrombolytic therapy and an heparin on with an acute renal shutdown, she would have landed in uh, very uh, big trouble. So uh, 
this is what we've done three days ago and we gave uh, her uh, SDK uh, by infusion and then N5500 heparin per hour. This is uh, today's shoot and I was uh, very happy to see this. Our pigtail was able to pass through the iliac left um, uh, left sided iliac vein very comfortably and if you see the diameter of the uh, IVC which is very very large that means the thrombus which was there and along the wall has been diluted then we were able to cross through this and this is the thrombus on the um, IV, uh, on the iliac veins this is the uh, right sided iliac vein so see how much constricted it is and so flow so low flow so this is a very very large thrombus burden we were able to go through it this is an external iliac vein and uh, then we went to the common femoral vein and uh, this is the flow there this is much better than what it was earlier there's a large thrombus burden and we plan to give a half dose thrombolytic for a day because uh, i want actually i want this uh, clot to you know uh, dissolve we are saved by this ivc filter because of which major pulmonary embolism would not be a risk and uh, once we dilute or uh, lyse this clot then probably the post thrombolytic uh, thrombotic syndrome would not be there which is the aim at this point of time at because at this juncture because there are flows i would um, be happy giving oral anticoagulant just to avoid that post thrombofibrotic syndrome we are giving uh, stk for one more day and we'll take a shoot tomorrow and then see thank you thanks a lot Thank you.